Hmm. This looks interesting. I'm trying to keep this the stream family friendly. All right. Get out of here. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you... <laughs> God. It's a bonus level! What the hell? Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping into Barbadook, a game I'd never heard about until I saw it in a museum, and I thought, that game looks rad. I mean... The way we used to judge games back in the 80s and 90s is, does it have a cool-looking cover box? And this kind of did. So after a quick search to check out some screenshots, I was like, oh yeah, this game looks pretty cool. So uh, I looked it up, and this is a port of an arcade game. <laughs> Got a little uh, weird dude there saying he's our friend. Uh, oh man, the computer sucks at this game. Uh, this is a port of, a, uh, of a, an arcade game. Interesting fun facts about this arcade game are that uh, it stars two female protagonists. The first player is Kissy, the second player is Tacky, and you fight your way through eight different worlds, uh, and you must rescue those one-eyed packets, or passettes, I don't know how you actually say the name. Um, this is a game that was ported from the arcades, it's for the Sharp X68000, which is a Japanese-only computer that I know absolutely nothing about. Um, I played tons of DOS games as a kid, and I knew a little bit about Mac, but honestly, I didn't even really know about the Commodore 64 very much. I think my grandma got one from a church, uh, like, junk sale once, and then me and my uncle sat around, um, because often in Commodore 64 manuals, there would be games, but it would be the code for a game, and you have to program it all out. So I remember sitting with my uncle and typing, like, poke commands, uh, into this little program, and we eventually made a Space Invaders game. It took like an hour, and I would just read line by line out to him, and he would write it out. It was actually a pretty fun experience. Um, imagine nowadays you got the source code for a game, and you had to program it into your PlayStation 5. Like, it just doesn't work that way anymore. Uh, but anyway, that's a bit of a tangent, so I played DOS, a little bit of Mac. Didn't know much about other computer systems, though. Certainly didn't know anything about Japanese computer systems. So, hey, let's go. Let's insert a quarter. And let's go. We're Kissy. Kissy the heroine. Now, this game came out in 1985. <laughs> I like how that guy's sort of like, blah, 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 blah. He's like, I am your friend. Notice when you shoot, you get a bit of kickback, too, which is kind of a cool mechanic. Um, but this game came out in 1985, and I was wondering if this predates Metroid. I think it does, or it's around the same time, but I always remember everyone made such a big deal about how Metroid was a female protagonist at the end. Largely because you go through the whole game just assuming it's a dude, and at the end you find out it's a, a, a female, and you're like, whoa, and it's sort of like, it challenged gender stereotypes even way back in 85. Uh, this one, they're obviously making it clear from the get-go that you are a female, so I guess there's less surprise factor, but it just sort of made me think of Metroid, because it's similar. It's like female in, like, you know, a yellow uh, spacesuit going around killing aliens. Sort of a similar idea as uh, Metroid there. Oh, God. Controls are pretty intuitive. The arrow keys move you, spacebar shoots. Um, I thought of getting a... Uh, I thought of getting a joystick... For playing this game, but uh, you know, I, I play a lot of games with controllers and joysticks. Any NES game, I'm basically using an NES controller. Um, you know, when I play arcade games, I tend to crack out the old arcade controllers that I've got here and uh, use those. Um, I don't often play games using keyboard controls, and so I thought this would be a fun a fun opportunity to do that. Oh, there's like an evil Pac-Man there. Did you see that? It's like a purple, veiny Pac-Man. That's <laughs> You look like an evil testicle. Uh, okay. I'll get my mind out of the gutter for the rest of this playthrough, but... Um, yeah, I sort of thought, you know, I don't, I don't get a lot of opportunities to play games using a, uh, com using a keyboard. And back in the day, I played a hell of a lot of games with the keyboard. I mean, I didn't, I didn't own a, a joystick or anything like that for my DOS. Uh, computer and things also damn that pac-man's scary man look at him that's a monster pac-man um i feel like games also like 
Like nowadays, you just plug things in and they work. You buy a USB joystick, you plug it in and it works. I remember as a kid, like getting a new sound card, getting a new joystick, you'd have to go into your autoexec.bat and config.sys. You'd have to add all sorts of like random lines to like, you know, IRQ ports and DMAs, and then your game wouldn't even detect the damn thing. So it was it was far more complex back in the day to add hardware, and I feel like I just didn't do it. I just didn't even bother. So pretty much every DOS game I played um, with with the keyboard. So it's like the keyboard was a controller to me when I was a kid. Damn it, we died, by the way. Those veiny uh, Pac-Man are actually surprisingly hard. So this game starts out deceptively easy, where it's like you just have to clear room by room, and the first room is like nothing uh, by comparison to the later rooms. Like, look how basic this is. So I think it gave me the illusion that this is going to be a pretty simple uh, affair, but... I mean, it's easy to die. You only take two hits, and then you die. And... Get one shield, lose one shield, get nothing. Huh. So I guess you have to collect those little guys for that bonus round there. So it seems like a, it's like a Mario 2 style slot machine between levels. Um, oh god. Ugh. Yeah, like... It is hard not to get hit here. Okay. I'm gonna... I really wanna like... There's only like five levels of this game. I feel like if I just concentrate a little, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to see this whole game today. But I'm gonna really like... Put my full concentration into this. The gems. Get out of here. Shield bonus, 200 points. Oh, we got plus one shield. Oh, that actually upgrades you. Okay. New plan. You got to rescue those one-eyed bastards. Those guys really help you out. They kind of look like aliens from Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Like the bad aliens. But they are good guys. They may be bad guys, but they're not bad guys. You know what I mean? Wreck-It Ralph style. All right. This game would uh, seriously uh, be a breeze if you had a turbo controller. What are these brown? No! That was a stupid hit. That was a stupid hit. Damn, that's like, oh, what is that thing? What is that? What is the blue thing, I wonder? Oh, God. Oh, God. Should I tango with it? No! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, uh, why did I choose to tango with the blue thing? Oh, no! Oh, it infected all my guys. Oh, God. Okay, that blue thing is serious. Oh, and I lost all my dudes. All right, well, pro tip. Oh, God, don't get eaten by Pac-Man. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, some of these are traps. We gotta be really careful here. I know we can take two hits here, but they go faster than you think. Oh god. Shit, we took a hit there too. Oh, this Pac-Man, he's following me. He's even making like Pac-Man noises. And you know what's funny is this game was produced by Namco, which did make Pac-Man. So it probably literally is like a hostile Pac-Man alien. God, get out of here. Okay, one of these could be a Pac-Man. We really gotta watch it. Oh, you bastard. I knew it. Okay, and a gem. Okay. Go! What did I collect there? Man, this level is hard. Go! Go, 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 go! Kill the things. All right. As long as a random Pac-Man show up. We chance it. Yeah, we do. I want the... No! <laughs> no, we were right there. Why did I risk it? Uh, at least... You know, this game is actually very generous in that uh, the checkpoints put you back right where you die. So that's that's actually something. Okay, we just get nothing for that. That's fine. We're in the second last level. This is exciting, guys. Ooh, a blaster. I haven't seen this before. Oh, God. This thing is coming to kill us. Get out of here. No, oh, Come here, buddy. We need you. Is this just a bonus level? Oh god, nope. Okay, where did that guy go? Oh, he just disappeared. Oh, it sort of was a bonus level, in a way. Alright, we got two little guys. Come on, upgrade my shields! Oh, come on, we were so close. Alright, now we're fighting some kind of demon monster here. 
Oh, we made it to the boss. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, ow. Okay, go, 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 just shoot like crazy! Kill this thing. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ugh! Go, go, go! Oh, there's only one left! Ah! Oh, I can't believe we did it! Oh, nice try! Nice try! Let's get the hell out of here! <laughs> did we beat the game? Is that it? Oh, that was stage one! Oh, man! Oh, I see. Oh, wow, this game is way bigger than I thought. For some reason, I was like, oh, there's only six levels or something. Maybe the arcade level version only had six levels. But, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, I want that blaster upgrade. Back off, stop attacking me. Oh, you bastards. This guy is really persistent here. There we go, we got him, All right? No pink Pac-Man, or purple Pac-Man, yes, upgrades. Huh. Oh my god! We got toasted. Damn, the, the, it, it, it's very interesting. It's sort of like a shoot 'em up you know, like a great uh, Gradius or something like that, but it doesn't auto-scroll, which I like. And it's got this sort of, like, exploration mechanic with an upgrade system. I like what they got going on here in Barbadook. Uh, this game, I think, was also, also had another title. Shit. Um, hold on. What's the other title here? Also known as Alien Sector. There you go. Barbadook or Alien Sector. Ooh, look, we even got a, uh... We even got a high score. You can't type your name. Even though it's a port, I can't just actually type it. I have to use the left and right and uh, the space bar here. But there we go. We will be... J. Jason. Not like Jason, but like, you know... Uh, like in Japanese, I call everyone son. Like Mark's son and uh, uh, Kenneth's son. We are Jason. All right, let's go ahead, slam one more quarter into this beast. We're just starting to get the hang of it. I think we'll give it one or two more shots. Let's see how far we can get. I think now that I understand the mechanics, I think I can get through this sort of first stage probably pretty well. I think I can do better than I have been. Okay, so I know you don't mess with that thing. When you see that thing, just get the hell out of there. Um... And there's got to be an art to, like, landing on those guys, because if you get, like, four, five, six shields, you'd become, like, invincible. So we got to save as many of those little uh, orange guys as possible, because we definitely want upgraded shields. It's like a must. Oh, my God. Back off, back off, back off, back off. Jeez. Oh, my God. It's crazy how it's, like... Out of nowhere, there can just be bullets all over the screen. Okay, we got those guys. Get this guy. Jeez. Jeez. Ah, oh, stop! Okay. Oh, we got a blaster upgrade. I'll take it. Shield bonus, 100 points. Yes! And we upgraded our shields, too. Upgraded gun, upgraded shields. All coming up, Jay. Eat it! Oh, that upgraded gun actually does make quite a big difference. Okay, we need to save more dudes, though. More little dudes, and we gotta, like, not take hits because we're upgraded. Yes. Alright. Come here, buddy. We got you. Oh, when you- when you actually, like, get a shield upgrade, it resets the number of dudes you have rescued. I guess that makes sense. I was imagining, like, if you could just go through the game without dying, eventually you'd have, like, a guaranteed shield every life, but... I guess that's too OP. Can these guys die already? I don't know if you can shoot guys off screen, but... Old video game logic tells me you can't. Tells me if you can't see them on the screen, then you... Ah, oh God. Can't... Can't affect them, and they can't affect you. Alright, we gotta go 50-50 shot. No! Take away a shield! Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. That shouldn't be a thing. I like that there's upgrades, but I hate that there's downgrades. It's... what a ripoff. We gotta watch out, because some of these things are purple Pac-Man dudes. I remember that part. What is that? Was that good or bad? I missed it. I was, too, I was too scared to take a chance on it. Oh, 
What's that thing? Oh, it's a little dude. We want him. Kill these guys as fast as possible. I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, another little guy. Okay, we got a almost a guaranteed shield, I think. We have so many. Oh, shit. Took a stupid hit. We got so many of these guys. Okay. Oh, nice try, Pac-Man. Oh, no! That thing just flew right at me. I was also kind of stuck on the ceiling. Oh, and they took away the other thing. There was probably some kind of upgrade in there. Damn it. Damn it. I mean, it's a fairly generous game, but definitely it's not... Oh, God. It's not a freebie with this one. Okay, come on. Upgrade my shields. Oh, come on! <laughs> I guess I had a 50-50 shot there. Four out of eight. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, we got a gun upgrade. No! Back off! Son of a bit. What?! <laughs> Uh, no words on that one. Give me a break. Jesus, this bonus level's a death trap. <laughs> die, Pac-Man. The purple Pac-Mans literally look like undead evil Pac-Man. Oh yeah, nothing. Thanks. Of course. Damn, this is a hard game. This is a hard game, guys. Okay, let's just... Kill as many of these guys as possible. For as quick as we can. Oh, that's, that's actually not bad at all. Alright. I think our little orange dudes were being summoned and were flying out and attacking the boss there. So we lost- we actually would have preferred to keep them. So that we could, uh, use them for upgrades, but... They wanted to fight the boss, I get. They're, they're sort of like little baby Yodas. God. We accidentally summoned a- Evil purple Pac-Man wants to kill me. What is in the walls there? Oh my god. Okay. Kill that. Oh god. <laughs> Man, it's like things are coming at you from every direction. Oh man. You know what's funny is like, I remember as a kid, people were always talking about how good video games were for hand-eye coordination. And it's like, you play a game like this and you really understand where they were coming from. It's just like, yeah, man, you have to have, like, lightning-fast reflexes. Okay, can we kill this thing? There we go, finally. Oh, what is that thing that just spawned? Wait, what's happening? Die, give me the dude. Things are coming, things are just spawning at it. Nowhere to kill me, oh my god. Flee! Oh, we can't! <laughs> We're screwed. I was sort of like, just abandon the level, forget this plan of saving guys. Damn. I feel like we did even worse, I'm not even gonna enter my name. We were doing good for like three levels, and then it's just out of nowhere. We just, it was like one, two, three, death, and then it was done. So, I'd like to go through the first stage and get like two shield upgrades, a gun upgrade, and no death. You know, like kind of like just ace the first level. So that we at least have a f decent shot of the next level. That's what I would like. Now, let's see if I can do this thing correctly. Oh, yes! That's how you do it, one out of eight. I don't- <laughs> never tell me the odds, I don't need to know them. Alright, well, this gives me optimism for this run here. Oh, come here, little dude. One out of eight, we're gonna turn you into a shield. Oh god, get out of here. You get out of here, too, alright. Kill that guy. That guy, yeah. Turbo controller would be just boss in this game. Oh god. Get out of here. Alright, can we do it again? Imagine having four shields. We've never seen that yet. Okay, you know what? I will take nothing rather than lose a shield. Why is lose a shield an option? That shouldn't exist in a fair world. I guess they're, like, too afraid of you getting too upgraded and being too powerful. I mean, this di this does come from the arcades. I feel like if this was a PC game to begin with, the idea of, like, losing an upgrade wouldn't have, you know, just made it into the game. But in the arcades, they always had to make things brutal and difficult so that you would die eventually. Because with arcades, you want high turnover on your games. You don't want somebody sitting there and playing 
the same life for like uh, an hour because then they, you know you're not getting any money. So uh, it's it's traditional that any video game that was ported from arcade games tends to be. Oh god! Oh god! No! Come here, little guy. Jeez, everything is coming for me right now. Die, die, die. Okay, we got him. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes. Come on, man. We gotta get another shield. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's sort of like a, a law that every arcade game had to have... I wouldn't say unfair mechanics, but definitely not uh, pleasant mechanics. Like, the games are designed for very short-term uh, play. You're not meant to play them long term. Whereas, like, Imagine Games nowadays, like, they have auto checkpoints, infinite lives, you know, like, uh, all sorts of stuff. It just makes life a heck of a lot easier. Because now games are meant to, you're supposed to sit down and play a game for, like, 30 hours. In fact, it's almost the opposite. Like, it used to be the case that they only wanted you to play a game for, like, five minutes at most before you died. Because they wanted to get the next quarter out of you. Now, they not only want you to play free games forever, but they want you logging in every day for daily quests. You know, like, every single free-to-play game has, like, daily quests and this and that. Now I've always wondered, why do they actually want you to log in every single day? Aren't you using up server bandwidth? But... I guess that's how the games are popular. And... Oh, God. Nice try, Pac-Man. Having people log in all the time is apparently good for free games. Oh! God damn it, <laughs> you stupid. Uh, I, I won't even say. I'm trying to keep this the stream family friendly. All right, get out of here. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you. <laughs> God. It's a bonus level. What the hell? <laughs> no, stop it. Stop it. Let me out of here. I don't even care that we didn't get that gem. It's a bonus level! Why would you do that to somebody? We got our shield back and we lost all our little dudes. We only have one life. Alright. Oh god. Okay. Oh god, you really have to like thread the needle here. These things. Go. Oh god! Oh! Oh, he roasted me! Son of a bitch! I can't make it to level two with any lives, it's too hard! It's too hard! Alright, well... We- we did give it our best shot, I think, I mean... Uh, this is- this is gonna be our last life, when we die, we're- we're done, and... I- I wanna see as much of level two as possible, but... You know... Just sort of, at the rate things have been going, we're not gonna make it that far. I don't have that much confidence. Oh god, can you die already? Jesus. Okay, one more hit and we're done for. Oh god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Nope. Not gonna happen. We couldn't even pass that first level, wow. Well, Barbara Duke here. Um... It is a game for the Japanese Sharp X68000, uh, ported from the arcades. I think it's a good game, actually, like, it's hard, it's hard as anything, but you know what, I mean, like, old games were just hard like this. this I, I wouldn't even say this is the hardest old game that I've played. Um, I think maybe there were a few <laughs> things they could have done, like, I, I wish that, um, losing a shield was a lot harder. So, it would be cool if, like, you could gradually upgrade your, your, I was gonna say your guy, but your girl, actually, uh, Kissy here. <laughs> what a name for a female protagonist, Kissy. Um, uh, but it would be cool if Kissy could be upgraded just a little bit. Um, it would be cool if, like, you could get different kinds of guns, and if the shield stayed and stuff. Uh, like, no, it was just ported from the arcade, and the arcade was tough and challenging, trying to get you to cycle through your quarters quickly, so I get it. Um... But that said, for the home port, I think they could have tweaked just one or two little things, made the game easier, uh, but also made a lot more fun because you could get to see further levels. But uh, yeah, it's par for course for old games to kind of be like this. You'd have to practice them for like days and days and weeks, and you'd get really, really good. I remember getting really good at some weird old esoteric DOS games because like you just, 
you know, you'd have four games and that's it. And you would just play them again and again and again. And you start to get like really, really good at them. And then you could play a game like this and get to like level three, four, or five, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, in like a 20 minute span that we're playing around with this thing, there's no way we're going to get good enough for that. So anyway, Barber Duke, uh, is this a game that you guys had heard of before? Again, I, I didn't even know about this game, didn't know it existed. I think maybe it was a little more popular in Japan. That's why it was never ported in the West. But, uh, uh, yeah, heard about it. Saw it in a museum. Thought I would give it a shot. Oh, those guys can get sucked down the tube? What happens to them when that happens, I wonder? Are they de facto rescued, or... Huh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, share your memories with Barbara Duke. Uh, if you have any, down in the comments below. And other than that, I uh, hope you guys had some fun today. Um, tune back in soon. I'll catch you in the next one. Alrighty, guys. Peace. And I am your friend. Jesus, this bonus level's a death trap.